In this video, we'll be having a look at uh, the following problem. Among n plus one positive integers, each at most two n, prove that there exists two numbers such that one divides the other. If you like, you can go ahead and pause the video and have a go at the problem on your own before having a look at the solution. Okay, um, let's have a look at the solution. So I have my set, uh, which I'll call A of all the numbers from one to two N. And now I'll consider the following sets of numbers. So we have the first set, S, S1. S1 consists of all the powers of two uh, that are within A. So the numbers one, two, four, eight, sixteen, so on, uh, that are all contained in A. So that's the first set. And the second set, uh, now we're going to multiply powers of two by the number three. So we're doing three times one, three times two, three times four, three times eight, and so on, uh, and make sure these all, all the numbers are within A, so A don't exceed two N. So this is the second set. Uh, next set is powers of two, one, two, four, eight, now, but now times by five. We're doing five times one and five times two and so on, and making sure all these numbers are in A. And similarly, we'll now move on to the next odd number. So we start one, three, five, seven, and doing seven times one, seven times two and so on, and making sure all these numbers are in A. And keep on doing this where we multiply odd numbers a fixed odd number by all the powers of two. And finally, the last odd number within, which is less than two n is two n minus one. And two n minus one uh, is, we, this final set only contains two n minus one. Okay. Um, actually a slight correction. Um, this could also contain two n, could also contain 2n if n is 1. So I just, instead of that, I'll write a dot, dot, dot. So, because so, it could also contain 2n when n is 1. But the main idea is doing odd numbers multiplied by powers of 2. And now, since all, so now the observation is we can write all positive integers as. A power of two times an odd number. So if you take the highest power of two dividing the number x, um, that's going to be the highest power of two, that's a factor. And you're forced to multiply it by an odd number to get x. And there's only one unique way of finding the k and the t to make it work. So we can see all these sets, s1, s2, up to sn, they divide. Uh, the numbers in A all into these disjoint sets. And every number is contained in one of the sets because we consider all odd numbers times all the possible, uh, all the possible powers of two. So these are disjoint sets and the union is the numbers one, two, up to N. So when we take, when we combine all these sets, we will get the entire set A. So this is a partition of A into smaller sets. And now, since we have n plus one numbers and n sets that form the partition, we can apply the pigeonhole principle. So there are more sets, uh, there are more numbers than sets. So there exists two numbers, x and y, that are in the same set. And since they're in the same set, it means that you have some odd number times some power of two. So for example, you could have one x could be five times two and y could be five times eight. So you have two numbers in the same set. The thing to notice is that since within a set, each number is two times the previous one. So a one number in the set will be some power of two times another number in the set. So we can see any two numbers in the same set are uh, one is divisible by the other. This means we, this helps us to find x and y where uh, y is a factor y is a factor of x 
So this uh, completes the proof because by pigeonhole principle, we can find two numbers in the same set and, and since they're in the same set, then one number is divisible by the other number. That uh, completes the proof. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.